Well, here we are again, people. Um, gonna have another go at this. I have fitted this part to it, which is the part that goes around the cowl for the door hinges and such. But I have to insert some rubber plastic strips down in the joint here. So I'll do that for now. It's not an easy job, but I'm sure we'll get by and show you how to do that one. So I'll get the address later of also where you can buy this if you need it in Australia. So just basically poke it in there and get it all ready to go. So it's not easy still. <laughs> but we'll get it for you. A bit tight. Camera fell over. There we go. Have another go. I hope you can see this all right and the volume is loud enough. The best we got at the moment. We are going to try and get a microphone to help us out a bit just so you people can hear us at home properly. There's nothing worse than watching something you can't hear. I know that so. Right, now we're getting somewhere. I'll just stick my head right here in front of you, just have a look. Yep, that looks pretty darn close. Yep, yep. So, get the vice grips on that, hold it in place. You've got to make sure the rubber is in the right place, otherwise it looks shocking. So. can't really show you everywhere around it because it's just too hard to get the camera on it and to show you because yeah unfortunately it's only me here so I'm just going to put a hole in this with the rubbers so I can put a bolt in that one, hold it in place washer and a nut this is probably an easier way of doing it now this is putting it together and then drilling a hole to put your bolt through the rubber. Because otherwise if you mark it all on the bench and hit it with a hammer and with a hole punch, it's not going to be exactly in line when you put it back together. This, this way, at least I know, that as I'm doing it now, it's going to stay in place and I won't have any problems. Fingers crossed. <laughs> now it's all good. Happy with that? Next one. I need a smaller drill actually to do this job, but I'll use what I've got at the present time. Because as you know, buying tools is very expensive, so I'm just gonna tighten these up. Now we're near the balance of it all. And that one up there is awkward. I must have found another special drill bit that I've got, so. Need to get my long, longer supply of bolts. I'm going to do for now. Not long because it's too fat. Excuse me while I get another bolt. 
It'll be here somewhere. Otherwise I'll have to go for a drive just to get two or three bolts and that won't be a good thing to do. Here's some different ones to do for now. Excuse my big head while I do this. This is just so I can line all this up easier this way. Still got the hole on the top to do, get a bolt for that one. Might have to get a screwdriver for that. No, 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 no. If you guys are building your own hot rod, like I am, I hope you're going to have as much enjoyment as I am learning and working out how to put all this together. Not an easy task, I know that, so, but we'll get there. I'm not a mechanic, actually I, ha I haven't got a trade at all, just a handyman, jack of all trades, master of none, so. But I do build model cars, which I have a business called AAA Resin Models. Uh, maybe a little bit later on I'll show you some of the cars I make with that. So I make my own bodies and I sell them as well. You can't see what I'm doing here, it's a bit awkward isn't it? So, but I can't have the camera everywhere because there's not enough room, so... so... We'll try and do our best so you can see what we're doing and so forth. Gas now. There we go. Beautiful little job. Just going to fix that little bit on the bottom, which I'll chop off afterwards when I lift it up and put it on. But it's too heavy for me to do by myself, so I'll have to wait for someone to come and give me a lift. So, 
until then guys I'll um, say goodbye for now and we'll catch up for you again okay thank you very much again for watching